women's pay is uh, almost equal to that of men. It's, it's one of the top countries in regards to that. It's also a country where both women and men must serve in the military for two years. I know it's not the only one. Israel's the same. Uh, but in Sweden, interestingly enough, even the crown princess had to serve in the military as well. She had to do her training and play soldier. So um, that's quite interesting. Just very, very quickly, we've got about eight minutes to the news, so very, very quickly and finally win. Um, in early Korean society, men and women were segregated and had little opportunity to interact with the opposite gender. Even now, marriages are still not viewed as equal partnerships. I have two questions very, very quickly. First, how does this make you feel? And secondly, how would this compare to other, other countries such as China or Japan? You mean the fact that the women are still second-class citizens even within the marriage? Yes. Well, it turns my stomach. Mm. It's very frightening. I'm very sad for the women. I've seen women. Uh, I've dealt with, you know, as you know, I'm a, a journalist and I covered a lot of stuff. And we don't have time for it now. Maybe the next time we meet. Yeah. Uh, remind me to tell you a story about a little girl in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And how she happened to be a Hasidic uh, Jewish little girl. But they're also not so great when it comes to the rights of women. And I'll tell you that story. And whenever we talk about any of this, I see that little girl. And I want, I know how hard it's been for me to prevail and show all of my talents at once and I live in the United States of America where I'm said to be very talented and it's still a struggle I can only imagine the trauma and the everyday heart-wrenching for women who have great talents great intellect and great skills and cannot be who they are it is torture. It's everyday house arrest. And we should all be about the business of making this world a better place and seeing to it that lives like that are much, much better spent. Mm. There's a whole lot more we could talk about. And speaking of house arrest, we could also talk about what's happening to uh, Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi of uh, oh, yeah. Myanmar. But that's uh, for another on-air chat, I think, Win, But thank you so much for being Pleasure. on the program today. Pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. You're with Miss M. And as I said, today I've been talking to Wynne Alexander, journalist, musician and writer extraordinaire from the United States. And today we discussed very important issues regarding North Korea, Iran and a whole heap more and uh, as we've said we'll have to do this again sometime when. be my pleasure Miss Sam.